a Cards with Michael production. What's up, YouTube? Here with the iconic Masters box break. Of course, we have our sponsors. We'll do a little shuffling, and then let's get right to it. The uh, most valuable card here in this set is a Mana Drain, of course. Um, but we do, there are a lot of big winners in this box. Uh, iconic Masters. Wasn't a home run when it first came out, of course. Um, Wizards kind of made it like a secret set where the uh, the surprise was no one knew what was in the set until until the day at the Grand Prix. They had some guys test it and do drafts of it. Um, you know, not the most popular. But now with some of the cards rising up, hence Mana Drain, which I think is like $136 at TCG Low. Um, and also Avacyn. Uh, Arc, uh, Avacyn Angel of Hope, the, another mythic hit. That's that's like bordering in the 40s, 46, 45. And of course we have uh, the Consecrated Sphinx, which is another mythic hit in that set. Um, that's like, uh, I think that's like 30. Um, yeah, so, so plenty of cards that have a lot of value. Uh, but also just random cards, like Mishra's Bobble is like a $9, $10 uncommon. So opening these hasn't been too bad actually. Like you usually can actually sort of make value. Um, in the same way that Mana Crypt makes the Mystery Booster boxes just go from, you know, barely getting value to you're definitely getting value, uh, Mana Drain makes Iconic Masters packs insane. So, let's go ahead and start, oh wait, let's do some shuffling. And oh, before I forget, uh, in case you guys are wondering what these are, I don't know if the camera shows them, let me just grab these guys. These are Zen, ah, these are Zendikar. I just dropped one. These are little Zendikar intro intro decks. So one, two, both cameras. And um, you know what makes them so special is, well, they have the uh, actual priceless treasures and potentially. Um, so Zendikar first print run had, uh, you know, priceless treasures that could have, you know, reserve list cards, just old cards that were worth a lot of money. So reserve list, power nine, you know, think all that good stuff. Potentially in these, each of these has one booster pack. Uh, let me just do that. Content, um, 41 card deck featuring a full premium and then a sealed 15 card booster pack. And these are guaranteed to be first print run. So why am I kind of just keeping them around? Well, I'll be streaming this Friday. So tune in, 8 p.m. Eastern, we'll start firing off these and then we'll do some other box openings. And if we have some more time, I'll probably just stream, you know, Magic Arena, Magic Online, whatever people want at the time. All right. Now, without further ado, let's do a little shuffling, and then we'll go ahead and do some pack opening. Um, you know, the commons in this set, I think there's two commons that are at least 50 cents. Uh, they're both like, they're both these um, mana rocks. Uh, one is like, let me just, qu the Mind Stone and Star Compass are like 50 cents. So uh, other than those two commons, I'll kind of just blitz through um, the rest. Uh, so this first pack is for Robocop. We have an Orzhov Basilica, Burrington Forge Tender, Indulgent Tormentor, and pack one, we have a Necropotence, a little mythic hit. I think this guy's like, uh, let me just check, 18, all right, all right, and a little Foil Demir Aqueduct. That's something, I think, I think that might be something. All right, and a little Beast Token, of course. Okay, pack number two for Robocop, let's see what we get. Nice to start off with a little $18 mythic. Uh, prices are subject to change, that's, that's just what I see today. Um, a little Mind Stone, nice little Mind Stone action. Um, and hey, a little Blade Wings throw. Uh, so Iconic Masters did have, of course, a dragon theme. Swords of Plowshares, you know, nice couple bucks. Um, speaking of dragons, Bogarden Hellkite, nice, nice. I love playing this when it was in, uh, oh, Foil Electrolyze, that's worth something as well. Um, I love playing Bogarden Hellkite decks when I, when they were in Standard in Time Spiral. There was like a Dragon Storm deck that used that. Uh, and I also just like them in cubes. It's just so fun. You know, people people don't people write it off all the time. Mind stone action again. Uh, in cube. Ooh, and speaking of okay, Mishra's Bobble. This is worth like the whole pack. A little uncommon. Oh man. Oh man. Chock full of value. Chock full of value. Uh, yeah, so Bogard Bar 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 Hellkite. Oh man. This is one of my favorite cards. Anger of the Gods. A little aggro killer. Awesome, awesome. And of course, a little stalwart Aven. Um, yeah, I just loved, just loved, uh, that dragon deck, uh, <laughs> you know, in cube people write it off, but I think it's very castable. It's not hard to, 
you know, have like a ramp spell, um, like a three and die. Ooh, interesting little mass components upside down. Um, and just really fun to go end step, wham, hit you with the, uh, with the little Bogart and Hellkite. You know, pop a creature, maybe even two, and then attack for five the next turn. Hey, Graving Carns. Card was worth a lot since it's a future site card. Uh, the reprint obviously did not help with the price. All right, Moonglove Extract is our foil and a little Dragon Token. And those are the four packs already, but not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Necropotence, of course, a little Mythic. Bogart and Hellkite, Anger of the Gods, and a little Graving Carns. And not to be forgotten, we also had some Uncommons that are worth something. Mishra's Bobble, of course, a little highlight. Swords of Plowshares. And I think this Electrolyze might be a buck. All right. Let's put these to the side. Those are for you, Robocop. Four packs. And we go to Big Johnson of three. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Big Johnson, of course, is the same Big Johnson from the Modern Masters 2017 box. Just recently released this weekend. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, there will be a little card pops up. You should take a peek. That was... It's a pretty good box. Here we have a Kega, the Tide Star. I think all of the dragons, these uh, or originally printed in Kamigawa dragons, are all worth something. Like at least a couple bucks is what I think. Let me just check. I have some prices right next to me. Uh, yeah, when I say a couple bucks, it might be just a buck or 50 cents. So just kidding. Kaiga is not that valuable. Womp womp. All right. And I got some more commons, of course. Okay, and some other commons. Wing Shards, Indulgent Tormentor, and a Pristine Talisman. Surprise, this is not at least 50 cents card, so good. And a Cryptic Command, that's a nice hit. Nice hit, let's see. I, it looks like it's about 13. Beautiful, oh, a Foil Star Compass? Oh man, I hope this is over a dollar. This is like, you know, obviously a very nice version of Star Compass. The original, of course, Star Compass is much more for a foil, but that is still a sweet hit, sweet hit. If you want a nice one for your cube, for your commander deck, um, you gotta get, you know, one of those. The other ones are really, really rare. All right, of course we got some more commons. And here comes our uncommons, Hoarding Dragon, I'll Electrolyze, Thran Dynamo, I think that's like a buck, right? I wanna say, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like two or three bucks, not a bad hit. And Obstinate Bailoth, okay. And a foil, rare, Anger of the Gods, nice, look at that, so pretty. Originally printed in Theros, very, very sweet hit. All right, three packs. Big Johnson, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. I like it, I like it. D definitely, definitely all right, all right for value. All right, and we'll keep going. Those are the three packs for Big Johnson. By the way, you notice the second cam? We uh, did some testing, you know. Uh, I like doing the second cam. It's a lot more work for my editor, so please give some feedback if you prefer it or you don't. Um, you know, if we do get an epic next five pack for Polly, by the way, Thank you so much, Polly, by the way, for being a first-time sponsor. Thank you, and welcome to the channel. Welcome to the family. Hopefully, we can get some good pulls here as a welcome gift, um, housewarming gift. Um, but yeah, no, leave some feedback if you do like this second camera. Uh, it is a little weird for me because, obviously, some of you guys haven't seen me much. Um, but hopefully, people enjoy this. People, you know, putting myself out there. <laughs> Got some uncommons, of course, and a hypersonic dragon. All right, not a, not a great first uh, pack. Um, but luckily we have four more. Let's see. Let's see. What can we do? What can we do here? All right. Got a commons and, and, and uncommons here. Inspiring call. Abs and battle priest. All right. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A pristine talisman. Okay. Here we go. And a scourge of Alcus. Okay. I love this card, obviously. Um, forcing dragons is one of my favorite things to do in iconic masters. Uh, so basically you just need some ramps. You really prioritize the red black crew because that's in your colors. And uh, then you just hope to wield cards like Scourge of Valkis. Or not wield, but just like get them a little bit later than usual because two or uh, three red pips is a lot. Um, but there's a decent amount of common, like Furnace Whelp, your go to cards. Um, even things like Thrill Kill Assassin to kind of bog up the ground. Just one of my favorite, favorite archetypes to draft. All right. Uh, Surreal Memoir. Very funny card. Look at that. Four mana, return an instant at random from your graveyard to your hand with rebound. So you can return two instants. Uh, but funnily, funnily enough, it is a sorcery itself. So what a funny card. Chancery, 
Noxious Dragon, one of the better dragons. Uh, and a Knight of the Reliquary. I think that's still a couple bucks, right? I want to say a couple bucks at least. Oh, man, I don't even see it on this chart. This thing... <laughs> all right, I guess it dropped a lot. And it'll throw a kill assassin. Okay, all right. Dragon token. So, so far, three packs open. Nothing too spicy. Hoping, hoping for something great. Hoping for something great. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. All right, all right, here we go. Here we have a Undercity Troll, Coordinated Assault, Simic Growth Chamber, and Glimpse of the Unthinkable. That's definitely a few bucks. That's definitely a few bucks. And a Nantuko Shaman. All right, all right. One last pack for you, Paul. Can we find the Mana Drain? Can we do it? All right. Let's see. I'd be excited. I would be so excited. All right. Shove those in there. A little trash can. Getting filled up with packs right now. Um, all right, here we go. Uncommons. Sanctuary, Guild Mage, Electrolyze, and Fire Main Angel. All right, all right. Oh, I love this card from original Ravnica. Just like this, Glimpse the Unthinkable. Um, hey, a Foil Condescent. Fire Main Angel, great memories. I played that card all the time when it was, uh, you know, in standard. And uh, I can't tell you how many times I forgot the trigger. Oh, wait, that was five packs. That was five packs. I'm so sorry. Okay, all right. Quick little review of rares. And uh, we'll keep going. Thanks again, Paul A. Didn't get the value this time, but... You know, there's always going to be value next time. There's always going to be value, I believe. Fire Main Angel, of course, I miss the trigger all the time. It is, you gain one life during your upkeep if it is in your graveyard or in play. Gosh, I missed the trigger like an innumerable amount of times because I was just so new to Magic at the time. And uh, I still like building decks around it, that Fire Main Angel. Love building decks around it. It was just so fun, gaining life, dirtling around, um, basically never being able to cast because... You know, I never actually had that type of mana in a Boros deck, but I liked it. Fond memories. One of these cards is kind of... This card's a little, like... I don't know if you can tell, but it's very, very faded. All right. Um, so the next four packs go to Adamo. All right, here we go. Colligan Monument. Topan Freeblade. Bog Brew Witch. Hey, a little Mythic. Archangel of Thune. I think that's worth something for sure. 22. Not bad, not bad. And a Foil Repeal. All right. Pretty sweet hit. Pretty sweet hit for sure, Admo. And we'll keep going. We'll keep going. There's lots more packs to crack. All right. Hammer Hand. I've lost a Hammer Hand style decks all the time. I'm trying to play Bogard and Hellkite in my deck, so I will lose to cards that look like Hammer Hand. <laughs> and sometimes I will win. But usually decks like that defeat themselves for me, right? Like they have a low curve. Oh, Kakusho. I think this is definitely a couple bucks. Yeah, eleven. Jeez, back-to-back -back rares that are that have been that have been hits. Merge unscathed. Nice little card. Very very good utility card. And we keep going. Two more packs for Adamo. Anyways, have you guys drafted this set before? I I don't know if you guys have had the chance. It wasn't really the most popular. Um, so I don't imagine everyone has had the chance, but. Uh, I think dragons was very powerful. Well, speaking of dragons, Day of the Dragons. It was the only kind of tribal archetype in this. Uh, otherwise, it, you know, you're kind of just drafting like good stuff. The red deck, the aggro red deck was okay. Uh, nothing too exciting. Nothing too exciting. All right, one last pack, Radimo. Are we gonna hit the drain? You've already hit one mythic. That's the second mythic of the box, and uh, you know we hit some rares that are worth over ten, which is great, awesome. But we haven't hit the drain. Where is the? Oh, Thrain Danimo. I think that's like two or three. Little Supreme Verdict, it's like five or six. Rock Feaster Maggot. All right, all right. Four packs, not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay, let's put these away. And we'll go on to James E for a single pack. All right, all right. Okay, James E, one pack, one pack. All right. I wanna say a little over halfway through the box. And no mana drain. Not yet. Not yet. All right. Thrall. Broker. Hey, Swords so of Plowshares. Nice little... Oh, no, but a Simic Sky Swallower. And a Foil Virulent Swipe. Okay, all right. We've seen better. We've seen better. The most valuable card is probably this little Swords of Plowshares in this pack. But, hey, you know, one pack sometimes. Sometimes you get it. Sometimes you don't. Mike M, we got four packs left. Seven packs left. So we got, what, a third of the box? All right. There's still a one-shot chance to hit that Mythic. It'd be nice if we could hit the Mythic. It'd be nice, because we're only opening one of these on video this week. 
And I would love for it to just be an epic one where we just hit that drain, we add up all the value of the cards, and we're like, oh, yes, we did it, guys, we did it. We got a great box. All right, Blizzard Spectre. And Crucible of Fire, okay. Speaking of the dragon deck, that is, of course, an insane enchantment for dragons. But only dragons. There were no changelings in this, in this set, so it only really helped dragons. All right. Um, let's see. We still have three more packs for Mike M. Man, are we going to see the drain, guys? Can we? Oh, yeah. Dragon Tempest was a fun card. Obviously, only helped if you had dragons. So once again, taking dragons early and kind of solidifying yourself as a dragon deck made it so that you would wheel cards like Dragon Tempest, which honestly are not that good because it's really hard to get that many dragons um, in the format. Prodigal Pyromancer with like really weird bold text and a Rakdos Carnarium and Path of Bravery. All right. Oh, Frost Link's action. Okay. Two more packs. Two more packs for Mike M. All right, Mike M. Time to prove if you're Mike Mythic or just Mike M. All right. All right. Okay, here we go. Uncommons, Golgari Rot Farm, Fireball, Noxious Dragon, same thing, kind of weirdly printed, and a Consecrated Sphinx! Ding, 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 29 bucks! Not bad, not bad! You are Mike Mythic! You got it, you got it! Mike Mythic! And a Foil Blade Wings Throw. All right, all right, Oh man, oh man, wow, that's exciting! We actually hit kind of like a, a little bit of a win there. Not a Mana Drain, which is kind of sad because I don't know if we're going to get another Mythic in the 24 pack booster box, but still, no Consecrated Sphinx. So far, the best card we've opened. All right, Mike Mythic, striking again. All right, here we go. Got some uncommons, of course. Mahat Mati Jin, a little resto. I don't even know if this is worth anything anymore. Uh, yeah, it's like a buck. All right, all right. Foil Phantom Tiger. Okay, okay. Awesome card in limited. Hard to deal with. All right, got some uncommons or some foils. A little nice, nice little consecrated Sphinx there. Very good hit, very good hit. Eh, hey, Mike Mythic, Mike Mythic. All right, we'll go with that, we'll go with that. All right, all right, three more packs. This pack is going to Infinite Card Games. Alex, thank you for sponsoring another pack for the channel. Let's see, let's see. Okay, here we go. All right, we got some commons, of course. Star Compass at 50 cents. Uh, Haunting Him, Azorius Chancery, Corpse Jack Menace, and a Savage Born Hydra plus, oh, a foil channel, oh. Foil Mythic, but it's a channel. Oh man, this could have been, this could have been a Mana Drain. This could have been Avacyn. All right, all right, we'll take it. What, what can you do? You gotta take what you can get, right? Can you imagine, Alex, if this was a, that was a uh, <laughs> Jam Razor? <laughs> all right, and we still got two more packs for Ronnie. Okay, at this point we've seen three Mythics and a Foil Mythic, so I. I would be so shocked if we saw a mana drain, but hey, we've seen crazier things. We've seen crazier things. All right, Windfall, this is like a $2 uncommon. Uh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Rule Turf, Sarah Angel, and a River of Tears. Oh my God, for some reason I thought that this was a uh, Polluted Delta and I got really excited. Hoarding Dragon, okay. All right, last pack, last pack. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Another windfall. All right, two bucks. Two bucks. Stagger Shock. Angelic Accord. And a Thoughtseize. All right, all right, all right. Oh, how much is that? 22? All right. Hey, this foil dissolve. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. All right. Hmm. I guess total value. We'll price it out. Should be right here. Uh, and I don't know. That's it for the video. I mean, this was a good time. We opened an iconic Masters box. We'll be opening more Masters for the rest of the week. Don't forget Zendikar Intro Decks this Friday 8 p.m. And I'll see you for the next one. Like, subscribe, stay tuned.